Hey guys, Kitchen Table Magician here. Welcome to this episode of Strange Brew. Uh, today uh, we're going to talk about a little bit older deck that I have. Um, I built this about six, seven years ago uh, around some older cards and some time spiral mechanics. And uh, I do have a lot of fun playing this. It's very technical. You have to time everything just right and there's a lot of math involved to get it to fire off just right. But it's a lot of fun when you do. So the card we're going to build around today, or I'm going to show you my deck that I built around today, is called Greater Gargadon. It's a clunky rare from Time Spiral. It's 9-7. It costs 10 mana. Uh, its converted mana cost is 10. And it has a suspension for 1 red. So you can suspend it. It comes in with 10 time counters on it. And normally when it, uh, something is suspended, you get to remove 1 time counter every upkeep. Uh, in the case of Greater Gargadon, you can sacrifice artifacts, creatures, or lands to remove additional time counters to kind of speed the process up. So on the surface, it looks very clunky and very unplayable. Um, and a lot of people look at it and go, why on earth would I ever want to make this kind of an investment for a creature that is simply a 9-7 with no flying, no trample, no menace. It has nothing. It's just a vanilla 9-7 when it comes on the table. Uh, but uh, I, was, I would like to share with you this deck that I built around this and uh, show you how to break this open a little bit. So what this deck wants to do is abuse this ability to sacrifice permanence, uh, basically lands and creatures, to get time counters off the Gargadon and take the most advantage of that that you can and speed this process up. And also make sure that when your Gargadon does get onto the battlefield it's going to get through for the damage that it needs to do. Um, unfortunately at only nine power it's going to take three hits to your opponent so you're going to have to get a little bit more damage done before your Gargadon hits so you can maybe get in for two hits but I'll talk about that later. So the other card, another card in Time Spiral that was printed that has the suspend mechanic is Restore Balance. It has no casting costs up at the top corner. The only way to play it is to suspend it for one white. It comes in with six time counters on it. And it works just like the old classic balance. Um, when it does goes off, each player chooses a number of lands he or she controls, equal to the number of lands controlled by the player who has the fewest, and then sacrifices the rest. And then players also sacrifice creatures and discard cards the same way. So optimally, when you get your restore balance to go off, you want there to be no creatures on your side of the battlefield, you want there to be no lands on your side of the battlefield, and you want to have as few cards as possible in your hand when you do the restore balance. And you also want the greater Gargadon to have only one suspension counter on it when you resolve the restore balance. That way, on your next upkeep, that you can, uh, the last time counter will come off of Greater Gargadon and he will be ready to swing. And when a creature comes out of suspension, remember it has haste when it comes out of suspension. So when that last counter comes off, it can swing immediately. All right, so now you're thinking to yourself, that's great, but how do you get a suspended restore balance to go off at exactly the moment you want it to go off? That um, comes down to another card called Violent Outburst. This is from Alara Reborn, and that had a really broken mechanic called Cascade. So this has a converted mana cost of three. When you, it's an instant. When you cast it, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero till the end of the turn, but we don't care about that. The only thing we care about is this little word right here, Cascade. When you play Violent Outburst, you at that point Cascade, and it's very important to make sure you're playing with nothing else in your deck that costs less than three mana except the restore balances or I do have one balance in this deck as well because it only costs two and I can get into that as well. Um, the classical balance is I believe restricted so you can only have one copy of it in any decks if you're going to try and play you know tournament or anything like that. Not that this is a tournament deck by, by any stretch but it is a fun casual deck. So you, re you do your violent outburst You've cleared your side of the board and sacrificed all your stuff to the Gargadon. You mill you mill you down into your restore balance. And then when this resolves, it clears your opponent's side of the board and drops their hand size down to whatever yours is, leaving you with a greater Gargadon that has one suspension counter on it. Now, if you've done this correctly, 
you might even still have a land left in your hand that you can play on your second main phase, right? If you haven't done a land on your first main phase, you can then sacrifice that land right away as well. And then your Gargadon is on the table and ready to go. Or I shouldn't say your second main phase. You'd still want to do this on your first main, right? Do all of this on your first main. My apologies. That way, your Gargadon's ready to go on combat phase right away, and you can get in for the nine, unblocked. Okay? So I'm going to share the deck a little bit, my build. Obviously, you start with the four greater Gargadons, because you need those, right? This is what you're going to combo out with. Okay? Um, unfortunately, I only own two copies of Restore Balance, and I do have a regular balance in the deck, but that's always been plenty. I've never, you know, you do risk drawing one once in a while, obviously it happens, but that's why you have multiple copies in the deck. You only need to resolve one of these, usually to finish off a game. Okay, and then I have the four copies of Violent Outburst, right? I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay. Because it's like having eight more copies of Restore Balance. This is what's going to combo you out to your Restore Balance. Okay, so the rest of the deck is just to support the, that combination. Um, I have four copies of Elvish Spirit Guide and four copies of Simeon Spirit Guide, which is its red counterpart. Okay, so what this is, is it's a 2 2 creature for three. Or if it's in your hand, you may exile it from your hand and add either green or red mana to your mana pool, depending on which one you have, okay? So it works for two things. It, help, it escalates your mana a little bit and helps you get into your, uh, fin -winish, or your finish a little earlier. It also helps you recover after you have done your restore balance. If you've got one or two of these still in your hand, you have immediate mana available to you. It is also a creature that you can play if you need to get the math correct on your side of the battlefield to sacrifice something to the greater Gargadon to get that to time out correctly. So it does several things for you. These do a lot of work for the deck. So four of each of those. Um, then I also have four of these Carven Carotids. These are from original Ravnica. This is a 2-5, basically wall. When it comes into play, it you draw a card. So it replaces itself and it gums up the board and it's a creature you can sacrifice to time out your Gargadons. Outside of that, I just have some serious card draw because you want to get through this deck, right? You want to get all the pieces. So I have four Harmonize. I have four Gift of the Gargantuan, which lets me search for the top four for creatures or lands, right? The top four cards in my library. And then I have some removal in the form of a Rift Bolt. And I chose Rift Bolt because it costs three. You don't want to run Lightning Bolts or anything like that because you don't want to be cascading into those but you can still play Rift Bolt for one red. It just suspends for a turn, and that's okay. But the nice thing is, it's a little bit of direct damage. You can pound this onto your opponent's face and uh, bring his life total down to 17, which then leaves you with only having to hit him with the Gargadon twice. Uh, I've got a Crows and Grip in here, just because you never know when you're going to need that. I have a little bit of more burn in here um, in Cackling Flames, but I'm actually going to trade these out. I'm going to do that right now, because... Uh, I only have these in here because, again, I don't want to run lightning bolts. They're too cheap. I need something that's three or more. These are four. But uh, Hour of Devastation has a brand new card called Open Fire, which is a lightning bolt for three. So it's very much worse than regular lightning bolt, but it's a perfect fit for this deck. So I'm actually going to swap these out. I'm going to do that right now real quick. And then the last two cards in the deck are uh, just a couple of mana rocks. I have a Spectral Searchlight and a Dark Steel Ingot. Just so I have a little extra mana rocks, those could still be sitting on the table when I get done resolving my restore balances. And that's basically my build of the deck. Um, for the land base, I've got three Evolving Wilds and one Plains, just in case you draw into that balance and you just want to play it. Not the restore balance, just the regular balance. So I kept one Plains in here just so I have that option. Um, the rest is just red and green mana, forest mountains, and some uh, duels. So that's basically the deck build in a nutshell. And uh, I'll show you mechanically how this plays out a little bit. All right, so I just wanted to demonstrate a quick example of how this can go off when it's timed correctly. So the scenario is this. Last turn, we played Greater Gargadon. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so he has got 10 counters on him, right? And last turn, I also went ahead and put Rift Bolt into suspension because I had it. 
and I want to get that extra three points of damage to my opponent's face. So let's go ahead and take this turn. So we're going to untap, then we're going to upkeep, remove the counter from Rift Bolt, deal three points of damage to your opponent's face, remove the counter from Gargadon, puts him at nine, then we're going to take our draw phase. We've drawn a forest, and that's okay. So our hand looks like this. Violent Outburst, Mountain Forest. So when we do resolve this, we're not going to get our opponent down to zero cards in hand, but we will have them leave them with two cards in hand, unless they already have two or less cards, and that's fine. So the next thing we want to do is want to load up the mana pool. So we're going to just pump everything in. So we got two greens, two reds, and we'll just call it another red. All right. So we've done that. Now we're going to sacrifice our three creatures, which is going to put take three counters off, putting him at six time counters, right? Then we'll go ahead and sacrifice these five lands. See, this is why you want to time it out. When you're all done sacrificing everything, you want exactly one suspension counter left on the Gargadon. Okay, now that we've done all that, we still have all that mana in our mana pool that we haven't used yet. So we have five of it. So we're going to use three of it on the Violent Outburst. Cast Violent Outburst. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero till the end of the turn. Don't care about that. All we care about is the Cascade. So we're going to Cascade out into either a balance or a restore balance and sometimes you got to dig pretty deep because remember you only got like three copies of any of that stuff in your deck so we've got into a restore balance okay so everything else goes under the library okay now restore balance resolves they have your opponent now has to sacrifice all of their lands because you have no lands they also have to sacrifice all of their creatures because you have no creatures and they, if they have a larger hand than you, they're going to have to get down to two cards in hand. So you've left them basically with no resources and uh, whatever two cards they have in hand. And hopefully it's uh, something they get just get stuck with. Now that that's done, you can now play one of these lands because we haven't dropped a land yet this turn. So let's do that. There's land drop per turn. Let's go ahead and sacrifice it now and get that last counter off of the Gargadon. And now we can move into combat. Okay, when a creature comes out of suspension, this is a rule, it has haste. That's by default. So he's, this guy can swing immediately. So we're just going to go in for the 9 right there, which should leave your opponent with about 8 points, right? If the Rift Bolt resolved like you wanted it to. That means your opponent is really going to have to scramble to get out of this because you're coming in next turn for the kill if they cannot manage to get a blocker on the table, which... They probably will not be able to with no lands and you know whatever they've got in their hand is what they got to work with so i just wanted to show you how this kind of can work out all right well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video as always comments are welcome at the bottom and feedback and if you like this video and want to see more of this uh, thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time